Welcome to Data Doctor's Video, Suggestions 574, Find a Grave, Imprecise Birth, and 577, Imprecise Death Dates. This index lists beginning times of each segment, so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. Suggestions 574 and 577 are caused when there is a partial date of birth or of death in the Wikitree profile, but the Find a Grave Memorial has the full day, month, and year. This is caused if the link is incorrect, which either needs to be corrected or removed. The Wikitree data is incomplete, which is discussed in Segment 1 or the Find a Grave data is unsourced or in error. If it's an error, contact the Memorial Manager with your correction and documentation. Segment 2 discusses an unsourced memorial. Here is the suggestion report for Martin Miller, showing only one suggestion, 574. The info column shows the date in question, 1841, April 11. Here is Martin Miller's public profile. As you can see, it only has a birth year of 1841. On his suggestion report, click on the Find a Grave link. Find a Grave has a headstone photo, which shows both the engraved birth and death dates for Martin. The birth date is April 11, 1841. Return to his profile and look at the biography section. It gives a probate record for his date of death, as well as the Find a Grave Memorial as a source for his birth and death, so there is no need to revise the biography. Click Edit. In the Data section, add his birth day and month. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the suggestions report and on the far right click on status on the Suggestion Status page. Make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, corrected. Leave a comment from the commentants or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. Here is the suggestion report for Catherine Libby, showing one suggestion, 574. The info column gives the date in question, 1743, November 25. In the links column, click on the Find a Grave Memorial number. Catherine Libby's memorial has several headstone photos. Click on the one of the close-up. You can see the death date engraved as October 12, 1822, but there is no birth date, nor does the memorial offer a source. Here is the public view of Catherine's profile with some sources. We need to look for one concerning her birth. On the right, click on Root Search. Root Search offers several sites to choose from. Let's start with Family Search. Note, you have to be logged into that site first. Family Search has no birth records for Catherine Lippy other than Find a Grave. I contacted the memorial manager and asked for their birth source. He referenced an ancestry family tree. Upon researching that, I found no source cited for that birth date. However, we will use that date in hopes of finding better sources at some point. On Catherine's Wikitree profile, click Edit. In the Data section, add the day and month to the birth year. Check Uncertain. 
In the editing section, add a subheading, Research Notes. Explain how the birth date on Find a Grave is based on an ancestry family tree and is being used until a better source can be found. Click on Preview to check your work. As we did on Martin Miller's profile, explain your changes and save your work. Return to the Suggestions report and on the far right click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, once again choose a status. In this case it is Corrected. Leave a comment from the comment tents or make one of your own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. Please note that Suggestion 577 is handled the same way, except it concerns the death date. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.